What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome back to my tutorials. Today we're gonna be painting a Chaos Exalted hero. I'm so excited to be uh, releasing this. It's been a while since I filmed, since I recorded and uploaded a tutorial. I have to say right off the bat that um, in the beginning of the video, you'll notice that there were some blurry sections when I uh, accidentally took the model out of frame. It's been a while since I've practiced painting Sometimes the model is down here, sometimes it's out of focus. So I hope you'll bear with me. Near the end of it, I got a little bit better at checking continually, like painting down here and then having to check the, the playback monitors. And um, I, I got a little bit better and consistent towards the end. But just letting you know, it's, it, it might be a little bit rough and bumpy at the beginning. So, uh, but this is a model that was released in Finecast for the Warhammer Fantasy game the Chaos, uh, Warriors of Chaos army. And yeah, like I said, it was in fine cast. I did an unboxing of him a while back, but I was not happy with the way that it went. So um, I kind of kept him on the side and I decided to work on him today because um, it's the next thing that's kind of up on the block from my commission studio. And I'm really happy with the way he came out after just one video. And I think it just goes to show that, you know, some simple painting techniques, a uh, clean color scheme, which I'm really just taking off of the clamshell pack here. And um, yeah, simple painting techniques, uh, like practice and, and, and all of that. And yeah, you, get, you, you can come up with pretty, pretty good results that you, you can be happy with. I, I'm definitely happy with them. And I can't wait to finish him in the next video. I hope you guys stay tuned for it. The colors you're gonna to need to achieve this level, what we have so far, are a black primer, which I did off camera. And you're also gonna need Balthazar Gold, Abaddon Black, <clears throat> Lead Belcher, XV88, Steel Legion Drab, Zandri Dust, Rackhearth Flesh. You're gonna need to get a corn red, but one that actually is useful. Mine is completely all dried out and gross looking. And as for the washes, you're going to need two of them. Known Oil and Seraphim Sabio. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below, let me know what you think. And I, uh, I can't wait to get back to part number two. Let me know what you think and <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Laters! What up, players? We're about to stay up in this mug. And uh, yeah, as you know, we're getting started on this Chaos Exalted Hero. All I've done so far, which I had to stop recording, was paint this Balthazar Gold onto the tips of the horns on his helmet here. The model has also been pinned Rather, the hands have been pinned to the to the arms, and uh, it has not been attached to a base. I'm planning on putting him on a scenic base, so we're going to see. Hopefully, he can stay on this cork base and uh, primed in black. So now, the first thing we did was paint those horns, and the next thing we're going to do is paint the helmet. When I'm painting the helmet, I'm going to try to keep the gold out of the eye lens or the eye piece, the eye slit and the mouth slit and by the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to try to keep the paint on the tip of my brush and then paint from the outsides in just like that I have a little bit of uh, paint in my wet palette nearby. When you're working with metallics that have the reflective uh, metal bits to make it look shiny like this, you want to make sure you've got enough water in there to keep it from coming on too thick. Unfortunately, there's no rear view of the model, so we're going to be guessing a lot when it comes to the cloak in the back. 
For this first part though, we're not really gonna worry about that. We're just gonna stick to the front. Now I'm gonna take my ball as our gold and I'm going to hit the edges of the um, knee armor. Upper edge here, just like that, and yeah, lots of uh, rumors going around about the new edition of Warhammer. So I'm glad I got to do this. Okay, so I didn't realize, but uh, my primer didn't really hit that area in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Abaddon Black. I'm going to water it down, and I'm just going to run it into that shadowy area in the back. Because it's such a shadowy area, shadowed area of the model, it's not going to be seen, or like the colors will be built off, built up out of there, so there's not too much of a worry when painting into the cracks there. I could also mix the Abaddon Black with known oil to get it to spread a little bit more, but I'm just mixing it with water. Just want to get as deep into there as, as I can. That's actually something I should have done from the very beginning. Um, it's, been, it's been a while since I painted a model from, from front to finish. So. There we go. All right, we're gonna let that dry and work on other areas of the model. Because we're sticking close to the box cover, we're going to paint the there's a gold on the scabbard for his little dagger there, so we're going to paint that. The leather on the scabbard is red, so we're going to leave that for a second. And then get your uh, corn red out. Igor, yes, mostly. Have you seen my corn red? Here you go, master. And may I say, I'm very happy that you are back to painting. Uh, thank you, Igor. So there's two places you're going to be painting this corn red. First on the main body of the scabbard here. Yeah, I'm hearing all sorts of crazy things about the new edition of Warhammer. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta put tape or something to mark where <laughs> I have to keep my model while I'm painting. So it doesn't go out of focus and it doesn't disappear out of the frame. The second place is right here. All the details are emerging, alleged details about the new box kit that's going to be released in July and um, exciting times I guess, huh? I'm gonna, have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and look at all of my, um, to see if I can, I'm gonna have to change any of my basing. Xandry Dust, because I hear square bases are going the way of the dinosaur and are going to be replaced by uh, round bases. 
I don't, I'm not going to get into too much rumor or speculation because everything I've seen is basically just, you know, rumor anyways, but... Times they are changing. This is taking me lots of, of uh, practice to find a way that I like to do it the best, but when I'm painting horns, what I found works for me is that I take the paint and I work by putting the tip near the top of the surface area, so where the horn goes into the, into the caps up here, and then I just kind of drag the paint down. Someone's car stereo is really loud. I'm sorry. I think I left the sound pumping in my mortis engine. There you go. Lewis, why do you blast uh, Latin, Latino rap out of your mortis engine? Because I can, and it's America. I have to keep checking to make sure that the uh, camera is keeping the thing in focus. We're going to do rack art flesh now on the binding of the two axes as well as the binding of the dagger and the skull on the helmet. Rackard Flesh is a base paint, so it's it's very thick, which means you want to dilute it with some, some water or some mixing medium, but you don't want to go too thin, otherwise it's going to be too watery and it's only going to get in the crevices and not stick to the raised areas.
All right, so we've given our guide some time to dry through the magic of videos and movies, and now we're gonna get into the shading. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shade our model with some Nuln Oil. I'm gonna use, use my Walt Disney Family Museum pencil. It's a pencil on one side and a big brush on the other. Of course you can use your regular size wash brush or whatever you like to use, but I think this thing is just so cool. Should probably put something down on my table before using a wash brush. Yeah. That's okay. So we want to make sure that the wash goes in to all of the recesses and gets pulled down, but we don't want it to pool in any areas on the model. So if it's getting too low down on the cape, I'm gonna drag it back up. If it gets too low on these ax handles, I'm gonna try to pull it back up and then let it naturally fall back down through gravity. We just don't want it to pool too much. Balthazar Gold is an interesting paint color because when you shade it with black like we're doing, it is going to tend to turn a very uh, interesting dark brass color, which we can build up again using any, any number of gold paint colors. All right, there we go. Now, while our model is still wet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Seraphim Sepia and I'm going to selectively shade different areas of the model. I'm looking at the uh, clamshell cover there and I can see that there is some Seraphim Sepia in the chain mail. So we're going to dip some there and just kind of pull pull it around <clears throat> and a little bit on the axes as well. The interesting thing about Seraphim Sepia is that it is a, a great rust color. Okay, so now there's way too much shade on our model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry off this brush and go back in and try to pick up the shade, the excess, before it sets. Games Workshop shades, shade colors, washes are, they're the first kinds of washes that I've ever used and um, although I don't care for the finished oily effect that sometimes you get if you let your washes dry and you're kind of careless like I tend to be and you uh, don't see where some of the washes dry. Uh, even though it leaves sometimes a very unattractive oily sheen to it when it dries, I still think the way that it moves and the way that it fills in all the gaps and recesses and still manages to look natural is really really helpful especially if you're a new painter or if you're trying to paint against a deadline and you have a lot of figures to paint all right so there you have it players we are going to let this guy dry tonight and we're going to come back and work on finishing details tomorrow and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this return to form for the tutorials for me it was great to film and uh, i hope to see what you guys think in the comments below thanks for watching laters